Well, hi guys, Mark here. Well, welcome along today to the latest offering from Royal Enfield. Now, don't worry, I'm only kidding. Uh, if you want to know what I think about this lovely old Ensign 152 stroke, stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Okay guys, let's have a look around this lovely vintage 1957 Royal Enfield Ensign. It's got a 148cc two-stroke engine. It's kindly loaned to me by Paul Moto. Uh, they, they just take it in as part exchange. They're going to kind of make it as a display bike, I believe, but I couldn't resist taking it out. Um, full link to their website in the description and they've got the full range of Royal Enfield bikes for you to demo. Anyway, let's have a look around. I think this bike's had, uh, from the logbook, three owners in its life, which is quite amazing considering it's, you know, over 60 years old. So very, very simple two-stroke engine. You know, I'm guessing it's putting out about 10 horsepower. It's got a three-speed gearbox, and it's on the other side to what you're normally used to, so it's on the right-hand side, and it's one gear up and two gears down. It does take quite a bit of getting used to. Simple kickstarter on this. So two strokes, so lots of smoke and lots of noise. Nice little bicycle pump there. <laughs> very simple chain drive. Very, very basic coiled suspension. Don't know if you can see that in there. and very very basic telescopic forks but you know what it actually rides really quite nicely once you get into it so this bike currently is now um, MOT and tax exempt which is quite nice all very basic electrics in those days but surprisingly comfortable actually really quite impressive so I've just put, I've put a GPS on this uh, just before I was took it and uh, managed to get up to about 47 miles an hour that was nearly flat out so um, it's not a fast bike not for the open road more quiet country roads so this is actually the first sort of vintage bike I I've ever ridden I've uh, oh, the oldest bike I've ever ridden was sort of like an RD 350 from the uh, very early 80s but uh, this is really something else so that in there is a little, little bit of storage very simple carburetor. You've got your kind of choke mechanism there on the air filter. One spark plug. Uh, that's the decompression. So you pull that lever in there to sort of to stop it. So the uh, rear brake is on the left, which takes a bit of getting used to. But yeah, looks nice in the uh, sort of army green, I think. So not much specifications on this bike, guys, I'm afraid. I did look it up, I couldn't find anything on it, really. So I'm guessing, as I said, it's got about 8 to 10 horsepower. Top speed of around about 50 mile an hour, absolutely maximum flat out. And I can pretty much pick the back end up, so I reckon it's about 70 kilos. So what do you think of this? Let's take it for a little few miles test ride, shall we? 
Right then guys, so welcome along to the Royal Enfield Ensign 150 1957 review. What a time warp machine. So if you were starting this up from, uh, from cold, this is your little uh, fuel tap, so that's fuel off, fuel on. You give your little primer button there a few pushes, put your choke on the air filter, and it takes quite a few kicks to start it up. But anyway, let's see how it starts. It's a warm engine, so hopefully start first kick. There you go. So there's your sound test. And it does tick over once it's warm. Yeah. So a very, very light little machine. About 70 kilos, I would say. And uh, when you sit on it, it just feels like a smaller and lighter than a 125. Lots of vibrations, but full of character. Absolutely fantastic. So clutch is in the usual place, but it's one up for the gears. Away we go. And the gears are on the right. Oh, hey. And down into second. It's only got three gears. So back up again to first. <laughs> We're off. So this is how it used to be years ago. This is really good. So into top gear, third gear. Speedo's reasonably accurate. So we're just coming up to about 40-ish. <laughs> Suspension's uh, quite like a pogo stick, so not much damping in it, it's just really a spring really. But you know what, for this sort of riding, just on these country roads, it's an absolute little joy. The uh, odometer says 668 miles, I presume that's true, hasn't been ridden much in its lifetime. It's got all the old MOTs and the tax records from years ago. So into second, doing an arm signal for indicating. Whoop! <laughs> second gear, third. Yeah, top gear is quite high. So there's the big gap from second to third. Wide open throttle. Come on, baby, you can do it. <laughs> Just under 50, it will do, I think. So the, uh, the brakes on it, let, let's say they could do with a bit of fettling or a bit, a bit of work on them. I mean, that's full front brake now and it's not doing a lot. <laughs> and the back brake is very, very, very sharp. But the engine, uh, it's very crisp for a, a 60 year old engine. You know, it feels like it's a really good little unit to be honest. It's pulling cleanly through the gears. It's not coughing or spluttering. And just for whizzing around the country lanes, or here in Dorset in the south of England, it's really good. Wouldn't mind having this in my garage myself. So we're in third gear. It doesn't like slow speed in top, so up, down to second. So first gear, down to second, pushing my foot down I mean. You've got to have the revs quite high in second before you go into third. Come on, here we go. Oh. Doesn't really like top gear up a hill, but it's pulling slowly. <laughs> but no, just for sort of gentle pootling along like this, this is fun. The seat is actually incredibly comfortable. It's about as comfortable and well supportive as uh, any modern day saddle. And the riding position is totally upright with little tiny handlebars that... Try that back brake out. Oh, the back brake is crazy sharp. It's like it locks up with the slightest uh, push. So this is two stroke. You have to mix the oil 
two stroke oil with the fuel so in the in the day you'd have to carry a little bottle of oil wouldn't you but no this is really nice vibrations you could feel quite a bit coming through the bike but it's uh that's the character of the bike to be honest it's nice hard to find the right gear second gear is way too low and third gear is quite high second and into first and hopefully you stop in time clutch is nice and easy all right just go through a little village Oh, this is a, a, a dream, it's a lovely little thing. I've always wanted to ride an, an old bike. I uh, finally pop, pop my cherry on a vintage motorcycle. So just going along at about 30 now. We're in third. It's just running nice and cleanly with the two stroke. It's not coughing or spluttering. Quite responsive on the throttle. Little tiny single cable there for the... Uh, throttle slide over the bumps whoop, whoop, whoop. a little bit of a bone shaker <laughs> I've actually done about 20 miles on this already and um, it's a really nice little thing to ride um, notice that I'm not going on any main roads uh, it's not really got the power for that. I suppose back in the day there wasn't the traffic and people rode these round country roads and things but I wouldn't want to take this out on a 60 mile an hour road really just crawling along at sort of 45. So I mean if I put the full front brake on now, that's full front brake. <laughs> I think you'll have to put your feet down. I've got my feet down now to slow down. <laughs> That's all good fun. It's got a lovely little engine. I love two strokes. It's not too loud. Little skinny tyres doing their job. But you know, in, in 1957 and, and earlier than, than that, this must have been really nice in a quieter time. Oh, he's going for the 50. This is about 45 mile an hour, it feels like. Yeah, the engine's really quite quite smooth at this sort of rev, revs, actually. Hey there, guys, we'll, we'll wrap this up now. Oh, yeah. Short and sweet little test ride on the uh, end sign. go <laughs> great fun see if I can find neutral yeah so there's your neutral I'll just leave it running a bit for you obviously it's a given it's very easy to push around <laughs> and to stop it you just pull this decompression lever which operates the valve on the top of the engine there. All right, let's have a little final walk round, shall we? So yeah, MOT and tax exempt now. Cool. Hopefully you're getting all this clearly on the camera. Little uh, air filter choke. Quite warm. A little storage compartment there. There's your ignition up in there. All right then, guys. 
that was a pleasure i'm going to go and ride this for another hour now um if you've got an old bike if you've got experience with old bikes post your comments down below i don't know a lot about anything pre-1980 really so it'll um, be interesting to hear all about these bikes but no that's a bit of right eye opener that has yeah must have been a good good time back in those days on things like this and the bigger four strokes all right guys please give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe as always post your comments down below and i'll catch you again in another week or two for another review all right guys ride safe bye bye for now